Hi, my name is Leo Bliak. I'm a painter. For all you plant lovers in the audience, this is a Diefenbach, which is a semi-tropical plant that grows in the jungles of Brazil. Matter of fact, it's a lovely indoor plant. The, one of the problems with it, of course, is that its sap is somewhat toxic. So if you have uh, pets, cats, small children, uh, keep them away from this plant. Matter of fact, the uh, natives, uh, the Amazonian natives, uh, use the sap of this plant to tip the arrows, to tip their poison arrows that they use for hunting. Uh, when we first got married, uh, we bought one of these home and my wife took very good care of the plant. It grew beautifully. She cut it, repotted it numerous times until we finally had a veritable jungle of Diefenbachs in our dining room. It became so dense you needed a machete to get in there. After many, many years, one spring, I noticed that the plant had somehow grown pods. I had never seen this before. And they had a distinctly erotic look to them. They had uh, this lovely curve. I could see that they were bursting with seeds. And uh, I somehow had a sensuous look to it. So that when I painted the, the plane, I, I decided to turn these appendages into the human, male human reproductive organs. Um, going green is a big thing nowadays. So as you can see, it's uh, fairly monochromatic, mostly green and a light blue background. Just a little pink here at the tip of the uh, appendages. <laughs> Uh, to indicate its purpose. We, when I completed the painting, uh, actually, oh yeah, this actually is the first time, this, we kept this painting in the attic for many, many years, and this is the first time that the public has had a chance to see it. Uh, I finally persuaded my wife that we ought to hang it in our bedroom. And so I placed on top of our bed and bingo, she got pregnant a couple of weeks later. So, <laughs> so there's something to be said for the Diefenbach. As I said before, it's a lovely plant. It grows well indoors, needs very little take, very little care. Just water it once a week. Make sure the temperature is above 40 and you'll have many, many years of enjoyment with this plant. Thank you.